What's up everyone, it's me Robert and I'm doing another classic camera review and lately I have been messing around with some half frame cameras and here's one that I got a few months ago and I uh, shot a roll with it and this is the Rico Auto Half. Now this has been made in a lot of versions. Um, it's incredibly simple. Um, one of the things about it that's really interesting is that it's a uh, auto advance and you hear that sound it's a spring inside of there that basically advances the camera or advances the film once you take a photo so you just wind it up and you can go boom 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 without touching anything um it doesn't take too many t uh speeds of film it only goes from iso 200 to 12. I don't see too many ISO 12 films out there anymore, <laughs> or, uh, nor have I ever. Um, and it's uh, auto aperture, and so as you can see here, it has a selenium crystal right here, and um, if it's broken, that is probably too bad for you, because it makes it a lot less fun, but you can use it manually as well. I believe the shutter speed is like a set 60th of a second, which isn't incredibly fast, um, but you know, this wasn't made to be a high-end camera. Um, back in the day, film was expensive just as it is now, so having a half-frame camera was a way to be able to shoot more photos for less money, so you know, you get 70 shots out of one roll of film. In a modern age, the only problem is that most scanners are all uh, basically set up for 35 millimeter, like full frame. So scanning it means you have to scan each one individually or scan double and then cut them. And it's kind of a pain, but it's interesting. The viewfinder is really small, um, kind of hard to see through. And it's set up uh, where you hold it this way, it's portrait, and this is landscape. Um, it does have a tripod socket here so when you do the tripod it is set up for landscape not um, portrait um, here is a lock and open uh, sliding things right here switches I guess you could say so now it's locked you can't do anything if I go like this go down I can open up the back so here's the inside of the camera you can see as I said it's set to portrait and then there's landscape. Um, it's a cool camera. Um, it's not incredibly sharp. It does have a lot of flavor to the photos. There's no hot shoe. It only has a, a PC sync. However, you have to have a special adapter to basically mount the flash to the side of it, which I don't have. So I only use it in good lighting conditions. Um, the maximum aperture is f2.8 and it goes whoa, I can't see it uh, uh, ooh, I, I can't see it here we go okay it's a really tiny little thing here there's no way that the maximum is or the smallest aperture is f5.6 so I cannot see it though, so let's see. Sorry, I'm gonna set the F2, I mean the ISO to 200 and see if I can move it anymore. This is a really awkward system. Anyway, so aperture at maximum is F2.8, which is decent. Um, since this is a half frame, like all the uh, standard ideas of like focal length go out the door. Um, it's a 25 millimeter, so basically, since it's a half frame, it basically turns it into like a 50 millimeter. So it's very similar to like how you would calculate micro four thirds. Um, so, you know, it doubles the uh, focal length. Um, other than that, it's an interesting camera. It's made in Japan. So, you know, it's really old and it's he held up to this day. It still works. And so I gotta give credit for that. There are a lot of versions of this with the really cool colors and patterns out there, which kind of make it a collector's item. I got one with uh, the most basic looking setup and it has a dent in it. 
but I didn't really care because it's really hard to find one of these with a working uh, light mirror, this selenium crystal. I think it's called crystal. But I got one, and so that means I can shoot in all automatic mode, which for something like this, I much prefer that. I don't want to be like looking at this tiny little dial. See that little guy right there? That shows your, um, your aperture when you are uh, shooting in manual. It's tiny, and so I'm not all about that, and I'd rather just be going like that. That's the shutter right there, by the way, and it doesn't go unless there's film in there so that's kind of a thing where like if you were going to test it you probably need film to test it to make sure it actually works rather than just like a lot of other cameras you can just test the shutter and see if it works but it automatically stops it so what do i think about this camera in general um well i have other half frame cameras oh i have one more right now and it's the olympus pen d and it's really easy to shoot in 100% um, manual and it has a maximum aperture of I think 1.7, 1.8 and uh, a lot sharper lens and everything's manual and can be automatic if I want it to. So I like that camera a lot better but this is kind of a fun guy, fun guy to shoot with. Um, I wouldn't go out of your way to track one down but if you find one at a garage sale or a thrift shop for 20 bucks, something like that. It's a fun guy to try out. I guess that's it. I'm going to throw up a couple pictures I took with this and let me know what you think about it. All right. You guys have a nice day. Take it easy.